Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Film Geek here, and a couple of nights ago, I watched 2008's movie Mirrors, starring Kiefer Sutherland, uh, Amy Smart, uh, some kids, some cute black chick. I, I, I don't know. It was, it was pretty much Keith, Kiefer Sutherland and a bunch of people I've never really seen before other than Amy Smart, uh, and she was only in it for, like, eh, two minutes, maybe three. Um, this movie creeped me the fuck out. Now, <laughs> it's probably not going to creep out everyone, but personally, I have two big creep out fears in life. Um, one of which is mirrors and, and things happening in the mirrors that aren't happening in real life. And the second of those things is uh, mannequins. Um, obviously there's a lot of mirror stuff in this movie, hence the title Mirrors, and in the movie lots of shit goes on in the mirror, it doesn't happen in real life, like, they do a lot of, like, where the character turns one way and the mirror version of them is still just staring at them, um, and, and there's a lot of, and, and like, if the mirror, basically in, in this thing, if the reflection kills itself, like, it's killing the person, too, um, <coughs> And then, uh, part of the movie takes place in a, uh, uh, an old burned, um, uh, uh, department store, and there are lots of mannequins, and the mannequins have nothing to do with the story, other than they're just for scenery, but even just seeing so many of them creeped me the hell out. Uh, I really don't like mannequins and mirrors. So this movie was a huge creep fest for me, until it got to the less than exciting and extremely corny uh, climax of the movie, um, it, which completely changed the tone of the entire film. The film went from being awesome and super creepy and very cool visuals to this really campy B-movie that only existed for to have some special effects makeup and an explosion. Like, really? Like, they just totally fucked the movie over because of this climax being so bad. Um, and then the movie went and redeemed itself with the very final scene of the movie uh, after the climax. Like, the very last, like, minute and a half of the movie is a very Twilight Zone mind fuck experience. Um... But yeah, most of the movie is creepy except for the climax. Ruined the movie. It was that damn bad. The acting in this movie was decent. I mean, it's Keeper Sutherland. You know, he's not bad, but he's just kind of one-dimensional always. Um, Amy Smart was only in it for a couple minutes, but she had a really cool death scene. I'm yawning. I have bed hair. I apologize. Um... <clears throat> The kids were okay in this movie. Um, it's hard to find good kid actors, but these kids were okay. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this movie. Like, the climax. I don't want to tell you what the climax was, because I don't want to ruin the movie in case you were planning to see it. But it's really, really bad. Like, the movie is really good and really creepy until it gets the, like, 10 minutes until the end, and then, or maybe 15 minutes, I'm not sure, between 10 and 15 minutes to the end of the movie, and then all of a sudden it's shit. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and give Mirrors like a two and a half out of five. Um, I would have given it a three and a half out of five, but, ooh, sorry, but the climax... <laughs> The climb it's not boring. I'm just yawning because I'm tired. Um, the climax is just so shitty and campy and ridiculous that it knocks the rest of the movie down at least one point. At least. Um, so, Mirrors, two and a half out of five. Great movie until the end. And my camera didn't want to turn off, so apparently I was supposed to say, great movie until the end. Except for the end, sucked.